everybody's got their smile on. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> it's Monday night, and here we are. So uh, welcome to our team call. We are just talking about team up and trying to um, get our teams together. So if you're interested in doing team up, it runs from um, the whole month of February, right? This is just four weeks. It's February 1st until the 28th. And um, you get points and earn swag and stuff uh, for doing the things that you're doing anyway. So um, three people per team, up to two business leaders can be on the team. And um, you got to sign up by January 31st. So um, let's make a note of that. We don't have anything written about that, but it is a thing. Team up. So thanks, Elena, for bringing that up. And you should make a slide of that. So I will. So, and who wants to do team up? Anybody know for sure they want to do it? Did they announce that, like what the prizes were or they haven't done that yet? I haven't seen it. Robbie said they were, he told me they were gonna give swag away. So I haven't seen anything about that. Um, this doesn't show anything. Yeah. Um, reward you with special prizes when you share Shaq and help others improve their wellness. So. I mean, it's my feeling is if we're doing that stuff anyway, you know, and we've got some momentum with people that we're working with, like, why not get a, you know, get rewarded? Because maybe it'll get us to work a little harder, <clears throat> right? Yeah, I think that's right. So this is how you register. You click on the link and you go uh, to team, register your team with a team name. Um, the team captain has to register your uh, team. So if you're logging in to register, you're, they auto fill you in as the captain, and then you add your two other distributors. Um, it can be distributors or business leaders. So I don't know. I think it's only three people, right? Three people on a team. Yeah. And there yeah has to be one it says um, shirt size. So apparently they're going to be rewarding some, awarding some sort of shirts, sweatshirts. Um, so yeah, I think we should do it. We got to just break ourselves up into groups of three, right? I don't know. Colton, do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. I'm in. Okay, Zoe. She's out for the moment. Um, Sorry, I don't know why I'm having technical difficulty again. Yes, I'm in. Okay, excellent. Um, Elena, it wants to be in. Yes. Well, yes, yes, and and I've got some other people in my team. It was just I was thinking. I mean, um, <laughs> now I feel embarrassed. No, no, we didn't. I'm glad you brought it up. And I didn't mean to embarrass you or. Oh, no, <laughs> we're just playing. That was in the pre-recording. It doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got to come early on these calls to get the good stuff. These people that are listening to the recording, they missed out. So we can't talk about what we talk about before we press record, right? <laughs> if we get on here early. It's the pre-call. So, um. Yeah, I, I'll do it. Moira, you want to do it? Yes. I want to be on the team. I'm not sure that with Tina or Janetta, who I'm onboarding Janetta, who is Tina's sister, tomorrow with Tina. And if we can get Danielle on, she'll be on tomorrow too. So that's a good little team of three. Do you have to have a business leader? No, you don't have to. You just can't have more than two business leaders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have to have a business leader. Oh. I and what I was thinking personally was if I can get, um, you know, groups of three, I, I wouldn't be a part of a team. I would just maybe help mentor them. I think you should be on a team. I think so. Yes, because leaders model what they want to do. So okay. if I was a distributor, if my upline wasn't on a team, I would wonder what was the problem with that. Okay. I, I would. But anyway. Yeah. So. Um, Today's the 24th, so we have a week by next week to be registered on a team. So we can talk about it next week, Monday night, to make sure everybody who doesn't have a team by then has a team. Do What do you want to do? Do Make a post in our team page, Moira? And then we'll know that we can add Elena and Caitlin and whatever other people you have. Do you want to be with our people, Elena? Do you want us to just talk about it? Yeah, yeah, that would be great. OK. All right, so we'll get with you and we'll figure it out. So I'm going to make a list of who wants to be on team up. And then 
we'll go from there. Okay, how's that? Moving on. All right, everybody knows everybody, so we don't need any introductions. And um, wins uh, from the week. Well, before we do the wins from the week, I want to do a couple of uh, three housekeeping slides. One is that the Danell Delgado resumes this Wednesday at uh, 11 a.m. Central um, on the Shackley Field Development. There's also a link in your email. You can still catch up on any sessions that you may have missed. Also, I'm hearing rave reviews about the Clean Your Clock 90-minute training. A few people I know will listen to it over the weekend and said it was really, really good. Um, so there's that. The, um, today, this is a fuzzy slide, but uh, today Shackley announced on the Mission Possible call, starting tomorrow, the seasonal life shake flavors are buy one, get one free. So they want to clean all those out of the warehouse. So starting tomorrow until they're gone. Business leaders, distributors, Shackley members, retail customers, everyone is uh, buy one, get one free. So a good way to um, uh, to look up who sold those is if you have your um, order confirmations in your email, you can just search Peppermint Park or search the word pumpkin and all those orders will come up those people who ordered that. And then you can make calls or reach outs um, to the people who bought those shake flavors. Any questions so far? One more, um, the global conference, just a reminder to get registered and um, get your hotel rooms. We, uh, Moira and I are in the Crown Plaza Hotel. Where are you, Elena? That's where I'm at. In the Crown Plaza. And Colton, you're in there? Yep. And Zoe is in there also. So um, I'm at the Marriott. Oh yeah, yeah, she has Marriott points. So I'm glad there's a Marriott hotel, you know? Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's good. You know, so, that, that I, I earned that gold elite status, so I might as well use it. <laughs> right, that's right. that's right. Get those free upgrades and things. All right, so that's that. So just tracking with everybody there. And then um, the next thing is this event that Zoe did. So this is part of our wins for the week. And last week at this time, we talked about this on this very meeting. Do you remember? We talked about doing a weight loss event. Moira uh, um, helped with a graphic. It's awesome. And um, I Googled up a good name and people love the name. And um, it was a great event. So this is the cover um, slide that we used for our presentation that night. And it was just Zoe and I. And it was really easy to do. And um, it was very enjoyable and it was just 20 minutes. So I was really happy about that. But Zoe, um, I want you to talk about your experience with doing an event. That's Zoe's first event. Prior to that, she had signed up one distributor um, who was her daughter. She hadn't sponsored any members yet. She joined on um, August 31st. She started her weight loss journey on September 29th. And um, she hadn't found her voice yet as far as sharing. She was focused on what she was doing and creating her story. And then something changed. So Zoe, even though we can't see you, um, can you talk to us a little bit? I feel like I'm talking to someone it's, from Star Wars. <laughs> it's, too, it's too bad you can't see me because I'm grinning ear to ear. Um, that was shared on not just my page or the Carrie Gorski page, but also, um, you know, my own personal group page and my own personal page. And, and then it seemed like lots of other people shared it as well. And I don't know about anybody else's success from it, but um, I did a star club this week out of that. Yeah, it was really amazing. She said yeah. you signed up two, dis two distributors and one member in that star club. Yeah, right? yep. so I have three distributors and one member, yep. So she's doing well in her, in her quarterly incentive um, progress and it was really super fun. And she sent me, we were working on this and we had little issues with uh, getting the free um, sustained energy boost to go in there for $5. It was going in for distributors, but not for members. We had a lot of little hiccups along the way, but the, the, the most um, exciting part for me was when Zoe sent me a picture when was this? Um, I don't know. This when. morning. <laughs> Saturday, no, Saturday at 610. Oh. <laughs> she sent me this picture. I'll show it to you. It says, oh, oh shoot. It has this blurry background. I'm sorry, I did this to myself. Hold on. We did this before. Okay, well then. Um, 
if I have a blurry background, everything I show you is blurry. Okay, so look at, can you see it? It says, the picture says, I have points. Can you see this? <laughs> That's what she said. It says on the thing, I have points. She looked at her tracker. It's the first time she ever had any points. And I got this in my phone. I'm like, oh my God, she has points. And two out of three distributors and one out of one loyalty order and six out of 30 meologies. And she said, I'm not sure what the first quarter prize is, but I rock. <laughs> yes, it's so awesome. I said, yes, you do. So send this to me again when you have your Star Club credited. So she then this morning showed me that um, she had her Star Club because it wasn't up yet. So um, I just want to really, my very first Star Club. So it was really exciting to see those green stars all filled in and hooray for Zoe. Lots of admiration. Congratulations, for Zoe. She's getting a lot of um, interest and um, accolades and customers too. And so um, we've done some three-way calls together this past weekend, and that was really um, impactful for her um, who struggled. Zoe struggled with her words, and um, it came really easy. And I, I just want to tell you, Zoe, you asked the right questions. She upsold the energy boost to somebody who bought a Prove It Challenge. She's got her mind on exactly what it needs to be on and encouraging the custom the new customer encouraging them um, in their weight loss and that will be walking alongside them and what she's going to get in the cleanse and all that stuff so you did an excellent job zoe and she sponsored those people herself i didn't do it have anything to do with it you remembered to get their birthday you did everything right so i'm super excited and one of the girls is uh, that she signed up one of the women she signed up is mrs illinois so I think she has a lot of connections around probably, right? She knows that. Yeah. And so a lot of good things come when you open up your mouth and share your story. So props to you, Zoe. And thank you for that. Do you have anything else you want to say about how you feel about that or recommend encouraging anybody? Anything? Um, this weekend was really, really rough at my house. Um, and this is what just amazed me is we did this, we put it out there. Um, right before Pam and I went on that night, I found out that my uncle had passed away. And um, Saturday morning, we found out my brother-in-law passed away. And so two of those, um, another member um, and a distributor came through while I was, I mean, they, they were people responding to emails that I had sent out earlier in the week. And so it just, it's amazing to me how my brain was totally somewhere else, but what I had already put out there was continuing to work. Um, I, I literally went through and I looked at everybody who had viewed it and just sent them a, a quick message that said, thanks for watching my video. You know, I'm on, you know, my goal is to help as many people as I can get healthy this year. And, you know, if you or somebody you know is interested, let me know. And I was really amazed at the amount of messages that I got returned. Um, and the one lady who um, signed up as a member, I don't know if I've talked to her in the last six years. I mean, it was, she and I used to be really active in a group together, um, a nonprofit group together. And so when she messaged me out of the blue, I was just blown away. So it's, you never know. And Pam and I have talked about this before, right? You might be planting seeds today and you might water them tomorrow and it might be next week that one of them comes through or it might be like Saturday where a couple of them come through, but you just keep watering them and they're going to come through. You just got to keep putting it out there. So that's right. That's right. And did you hear how she does have her words about her? Did you hear her saying you or anyone, you know, I mean, she <laughs> has been listening and to the words and she knows what to say and she's just an A student. I'm so proud of you, Zoe. So thanks for leaning in on that. So any other wins from this week? It's hard to follow that, right? <laughs> I had a member, I got a rock. <laughs> Anybody else have any other wins? Well, I did have, uh, I did make Star Club this week. So Yay! Yay for me, although one of the customers is <clears throat> one that I need patience with. She wants to return everything. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and I'm excited because, um, well, I haven't followed up with some of the people that I sent the video to, but I did uh, send this um, event video recording <clears throat> to a couple of people, but I also, um, you know, connected with a gal through LinkedIn and brought her to that Let's Talk Business event that we have. She watched it. And I followed up with her and um, 
<clears throat> we're going to talk tomorrow. She said, I have a list of questions still, and but she was going to go to a chamber event like on Friday of last week uh, about should I start a business or how do you start a business or something like that? She said, I'm still not sure if I want to do it, but I followed up with her today because I said, you know, we agreed to do that. And she's, we're going to talk tomorrow first thing. She said, yeah, if we can talk. So who knows, that may be, um, that may be another distributor coming on. So good job, Moira. Good job. Kind of cool. Yeah, awesome. Um, just a reminder that we want to have, if you're in the six week um, push group with Christy Lyons and Katie Odom and those guys, um, that's a paid in group. If you're not familiar with it, it was uh, a six week push group that started uh, last week. And uh, last Tuesday is $25 to get in. The entry is all closed, but they're awarding prizes for points and are par portions of the pot of money. Everybody pays in $25. And um, based on rank advancements and um, most myalgia assessments, things like that. So um, speaking of myalgia assessments, you need to get 10. If you're in that six week push group, you're in there, right? Colton is always in, I'm in. You're, well, you're in Moira? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to have 10 myalgia assessments done by the end of January. So by January 31st, or they will remove you from the group. And that sounds harsh in the Shackley way, but you know what? That'll make sure that the people who are working are in that group and the people who are in that group are working, right? So it's uh, kind of some good medicine to take and get those 10 myalgies. But um, I will tell you that, um, I don't know if Shackley has announced this or not, but you can um, now reach out to uh, customers, existing customers to do the myalgia assessments and they will count for our tracker this year. So, starting now, Pam? Yeah, it's, uh, starting now, you can do it, and um, but the, you won't see them in the tracker until February 9th. Hmm. So that's coming, and that's not so much for Colton and Zoe because they don't have members from uh, right. eons ago or from you know a couple years past. It used to be, um, what was it? They had to join in uh, 2021, or they couldn't have an email address on file. I don't know. They had to be new as of 2021. Um, so any of these um, old former customers that we haven't been able to consider for myalgia, now we can. So it's a really great opportunity. If you have members that you sponsored prior to 2021, you can go back and have them take the myalgia assessment. Myalgia is new. And Chef, we finally uh, got the message from the field that we do want to follow up with those people. And we do want to have conversations with, that, with them to, to let them look at the personalized nutrition options and even myalgia kids in this month at 20% off. So go ahead and do the work there. Um, like I said, they won't show up in the tracker until um, February 9th, but we can uh, have a little easier time um, with myalgia in 2022. Um, do you have that in writing, Pam? Um, in a scroll in my basement. No, I don't have it in writing. Okay. I don't know. It's not a oh, fortune it's cookie. A it's, an, it's a messenger thread. But it was in the Central Region Leaders Messenger thread or something with Robbie. Yeah, that we could do that. So, so I mean, is that for anybody that yeah. is a, in a, our, even if they've ordered a myology yep. before? Yep. As yep. long as they didn't take the assessment yet and you didn't get credit for them taking the assessment. Say it again. As long as you they haven't taken the assessment before where you got credit for them, okay. if they counted, you know, if they bought the myology assessment in December or or whatever, if they bought the myology in last October and you never gave them the assessment, you can give them the assessment and they'll count. They would count anyway. Yeah, but you have to do the myology assessment in order to buy a myology. Right. So you would have done it first, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. But that's, a, yeah, we have been talking, somebody's been talking to, we keep telling Robbie and other masters like that, because again, us legacy leaders that have been around for a long time, like I have a gazillion customers and mm -hmm. sometimes they contact me and say, you know, or I can't get in a hold of them and they're ready to get started again. And one gal did that. And she said, well, what's new? And I said, well, why don't you, why don't you do the myology? She did. And, you know, now she's taking myology. She's on her second month. So, but she didn't count because she was an existing <clears throat> customer, but now they will count. So that's a pretty great thing. Excellent. But I think, so, again, with Zoe's thing, it's um, uh, Zoe's uh, event and things. There's just such power in having these events. And like that Let's, let's, let's Talk Business, that was so good. And now we have these events that we can share with others. And we're going to talk tonight about doing some other ones. And so Zoe is now, go ahead. Sorry, is now an okay time to ask a quick question? Yes. Um, 
the event they did online where it was a day in the life of a wellness consultant, yes. how would you guys recommend? I had nine or 10 of my people join that. What, how do you recommend following up with people who were in that group? Or is that a later question? No, I would, um, I don't know. What would you say, Moira? I have a thought on that. Well, um, I mean, the point of the day in the life was to show, to showcase how different people run their businesses and, you know, kind of what we do as, um, <clears throat> as distributors. So I would, I would certainly follow up with, if you had people that joined say, you know, did you can't get a chance to read any of the stories? I'd kind of take a look at some of the stories and especially if you had, you know, Susie Q who was a teacher and then there's a teacher story in there something like that. But I would uh, do a quick follow up and say, yeah, did you get a chance to get in that event? Did you see any of the stories? Did any of them resonate with you? And of course, let them talk and then say, you know what, this was really about being a distributor. Because did these people sh express an interest in being distributors? No, they're like, just people I thought would be great distributors. So I just oh. added them to the group and they accepted the invite. And I can even tell at least a couple of them, you can see who viewed the story. And so I know it, they watched at least a couple of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder if you could um, go back, Zoe, and then I would have a conversation with them. I wouldn't just text them. I would call them and say, what did you think about that? Because I do have one other event, this business pop-up event, and I would send them that because that was 30 minutes and that was great too. That was more questions. Mm -hmm. um, if they, when you ask them, what did you think about that day in the life event? Is there anything you heard in there that was interesting? You know, you got to tease the conversation out a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, but if they're rolling with it and they're saying, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. I didn't realize how I could do this around my kids or I think this might work for me or whatever, then offer the business pop-up. If they said, yeah, I never really looked at it. You can ask them if they're still interested in they, why did they join the group? Do they know it was for, you know, to consider starting a business or that kind of thing, you know, and have that business pop up as a, a next offering. Okay. Or maybe a three-way call or, you know, the reason why you're reaching out is because it's free in January, right? Right. So there is a little bit of time sensitivity. So then you can um, tiptoe around the, so it, sorry if you feel like I'm full court pressing you, but the reason I'm asking you about it now is because if I don't call you this week, on February 2nd, you're going to call me and tell me you're ready to start a Shackley business. And I'm going to be like, oh, it's $50. Two days okay. ago, it was free. Right. Right. And I'd rather right. have you tell me no than have you ask me why I didn't tell you when it was free. Okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. Good. That's good. So anyway, so Zoe called me today and said, hey, do we have any more of these um, kind of events like this, like recorded that I could share with people? Because people are asking for stuff and I'm hearing things. Hmm. So he's talking to people, I said. And so <laughs> I said, were you listening in on Moira and my conversation this morning? Because we talked about Moira's running into all these people who are talking about stress. Maybe we should do an event about stress. So while I was um, sitting here making these slides at seven o'clock, I just threw together a slide. This is not going to be it per se, unless you say, yes, it's excellent. We should just use it. But we could use this, a slide like this. Do you like this? It can have some editing. I just really literally. Yep. The wording should be a little bit larger, okay. but. What wording? That one that you just moved. Oh, okay. So do you like this uh, picture? Do you like any of this? I, I also was thinking about doing a mail. Exactly what I did today when I was sitting here. <laughs> going, Why can't Samara and her gal that's doing her hair figure out how to order meology? I couldn't so figure it out. So I was thinking about like doing a. Um, um, a male version also, Colton, for you. Does it bother you? Do you think you want a, a guy? There were some guy ones I could choose. This is just a Google picture. So it's no big deal. But do you have an opinion about that, Colton? Yeah, I mean, sure. I, mean, I don't really care per se, but um, I mean, it might be nice to change it up a little bit. Well, I feel like sometimes it's kind of hard for you to throw a graphic to, to a guy in the gym with this picture. You know, I don't know. I mean, if, if she was good looking, maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. That's true. That. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I love you. All right. Excellent. Yeah. So anyway, oh my God. 
Uh, so anyway, I'll play around. This is how it goes when you make graphics. You just you know, mess around. So um, I don't know. We can do something like this. If you want to, Moira's out on Wednesday. She's going to San Antonio because her son is graduating from the uh, Air Force um, boot camp thing. But um, what do you guys, should we do this on Wednesday? Do you want to do it this month still? Um, because it's free joining and we can be in conversations. Or do you want to... Um, wait until the following week so that you can invite more. Is it too scrambly or last week we threw it together and it went great. What do you guys think? Personally, I think if you've got somebody who could, who has a story or somebody that we could throw something together this week, do it because we can always share it. Even if people don't watch it live, because a lot of people, there were a lot of people that shared mine that I um, got notices that were sharing mine. So I think it would definitely get shared. And the earlier before the end of the month, we shared it, the more time it gives us to talk to people. And you get the feeling that Zoe's off and running. She's down for everything we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, um, I, I we got to find a stress story. So let me shop around. Think, Moira. Think, think, Elena. Hear it. Well, we. I, mean, well, I do like the idea. I mean, I do like the idea of it. Uh, again, I have, um, <clears throat> just like Zoe said. I mean, the, if we have an event, we can share it before the end of when it's done. We can share it if they can't attend. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the eight ladies that were on my networking group on Friday, I'd send it to each one of them because all of them were pretty stressed. But I think it is important to have either a story or, um, I mean, it's too bad I couldn't, I mean, um, well, I, a gal that I know who recently has signed up, she told me kind of in confidence that she wasn't taking her Xanax at night to sleep once she started to take stress relief complex. So, you know, I don't, I mean, that's one story, but um, I don't know. I think you can work on the graphic at another time. We should probably just talk through yeah, this, this and the other yeah. things. Um, but I know that I'm, at least for me, and as I told you, I'm, I'm out on Wednesday. That doesn't mean that I can't invite. Um, <clears throat> I just can't really be much more involved than that. Yeah. So I can run it if we get it, we'll get a person. So we'll work on that. So um, I'll have it out tomorrow morning. I'll have the decisions made about what we're doing. So um, look for that and um, know that we have it. So you can invite on Wednesday and do it at seven. Good. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. And then um, what we were gonna offer in this bundle uh, that we were talking about today was offer a vitalizer and a large bottle of B complex. Because if they need, you're cutting in and out for me. Yeah, it's kind of choppy. Yeah. Thing. Okay. I know. Okay. Is it any better? Is that any better? Work on, um, you know, a package that they can look at. We thought about the women's or men's vitalizer um, or the gold, if you want. But if you did the women's or men's vitalizer, that price point, and then a large B complex and a stress relief complex, that's $151. So that's kind of a nice, you know, take the vitalizer in the morning, have your stress relief as needed. And if you need some extra energy or stress relief because you're burning through all your bees, then you've got a large bee complex. So that's a nice little package that we were going to um, that Close we were with that, right? feature in that. Yeah. yeah. Talk about you know why stress you know why stress relief is helpful. You know, just again the importance of those three products, and then bundle them together. So what we want to do is have, with these little 20 minute events is have um, a welcome, a speaker with a story, and then a close quickly with the products. We'll put a little bit of Shackley information at the front end for those who don't know about Shackley. But that's why Zoe's was really successful because it was just that. Um, we use Caitlin's slides from two, two slides of bullet points about the store, about the company. Zoe told her story, and then we close with a proof of challenge. 
If you have any questions, let us know. And it was out. Mm -hmm. We want to leave them wanting more. We don't want to tell them, oh, you can have this, or you can have this, or you can do this, or you can do that. People are like, what? I'm already stressed out. I'm confused. I'm saying no. Confused mind always says no. So we really want to um, have one solution. Get this. Call me. Call me now. Like Danelle Delgado is all over that. Make it quick, show them what you got and get out. So that's the approach for these little 20 minuteers. So you wanna um, talk about the other one, Moira? Hold on a second. So I'm sorry, it was the vitalizer, the B and the stress. Yeah, the large B is 41.95. The stress relief is 28.30. And the vitalizer, men's and women's is 81.60. So that total is 151.85. And if you have a, the vitalizer gold, then it's a few dollars more. Right, and then, then if you wanna click on that. So a couple of gals on the team, um, under Harper's team, Liz Seppich, Elizabeth Tanglis, and um, Jen W um, are doing this on Sunday night. So this is also one that we can invite to. They're going to do some demos. They're planning it still, but demos, I'm not sure what the giveaways and samples are yet. There's again, still planning it, but skincare is a hot thing. And, um, and these are fun events too. the skincare ones that they can show the face and the masks and things like that. So that's again, one that you can invite to, I am helping them with that. I may be live with that because I will be back. I'll be back on Saturday, um, afternoon early evening. So I'll be able to participate in this one. This is central time, but I would, again, encourage you to invite to this one. Um, and we'll put these in the group. Okay. We'll put these in our team page so people can grab them, these graphics. So that's going on. And then what else, Myra? This is the last slide. This is you. Okay. So we were talking, um, as I, uh, Pam and I, and also um, just with some of the other distributors, um, you know, just the importance of sometimes, like you said, a confused mind doesn't know how to make a decision. Sometimes we we know that, like, if we don't know what to say, um, then, well, if we don't know what to say, of course, we don't do anything. But sometimes just a few a few different phrases can really be helpful in like closing a sale. And um, certainly this is open for things that you can contribute to, Elena. But, you know, I remember when Becky Choate said one time, one of the months that she just decided to put in a very simple phrase of, can I help you get started this month? Or can I help you get started today? You know, just can be very, you know, it can really make a difference because I know for me, it's like you tell them all these things and you tell them all these things and, and then say, okay, well, let me know. Well, you know, that's just so open-ended. And I know that um, sometimes we can be afraid to say, you know, afraid to try to close them because they might say no, right? But they also may just say yes. Um, and I remember when I was in medical sales, they used to uh, teach us about mini closes along the way. So it was, you know, you'd talk about a few things and we'd talk about shakes or, you know, for instance, you talk about shakes or the B complex. And, you know, do you, do you ever see yourself, you know, drinking a shake during the day? Oh yeah. I love shakes. That would be really convenient. So you kind of close them along the way. And then at the end, kind of wrap it up to say, well, how does that all sound to you? It sounds like you like the shakes or could you see yourself doing this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so when do you think that sounds great? You know, I'd love to support you in your wellness. Like Zoe said, I love that, you know, help people just be healthy as many as I can, you know, would you like to help me get started today? Or you can place the order, but I'd be happy to place the order for you or help you get started today. Um, you know, we could probably do it a little more quickly here. And then I always like to try to tell them is like, and the sooner we place the order, then the sooner you get to start using the products you know, cause there's a little shipping time and stuff like that. And so, um, but again, asking them, cause sometimes you just leave it out to there and then you're just forever waiting. Like I always make a list of the people that I think are going to be um, coming in and you just wait, like, aren't they going to order? Aren't they going to order? But if we can help them just by saying, how does that sound to you? 
can you, um, are you ready to get started today? Um, and, um, or just asking them, okay, well, you were talking about this, like, when do you think you'd want to get started with your weight loss plan or helping with your immunity? Like asking them, like, what's your time frame for this? Like, this sounds great. Um, but even just saying, well, what's the time frame? Are you ready to get started right away? Or you looking at next month or, um, and, um, I was reminded when I talked to, uh, Kim Wise yesterday, um, she's a distributor, uh, that came over from beach body, but she used to work in retail and we were talking about upselling and stuff like that. And I remember I used to tell the story about <clears throat> like, just again, when we go into retail stores, which do we ever go into retail stores and, anymore and have like lots of clerks that are trying to help us? Perhaps not. But if you remember the day that we used to do that, um, they have this assumption that we're going to buy. Like the minute we walk in the door, they assume that we're in there to buy. Right. And I think we really should do the same thing um, and have, you know, take on that assumption when we're talking with somebody that they are going to, they're in the position to buy but we don't know what they're going to buy. So I just tell this example of like, I used to shop all the time at Ann Taylor when I was in medical sales and the gal knew me. And um, so I just think of Ann Taylor. So, you, you know, for instance, you go in the store, the clerk says, hello to you. How you doing? Hey, you looking for anything in particular? You say, well, I'm looking for some jeans. And then I really want to look at the sales section. Okay. So they let you go for a while. And then before you know it, you're in the fitting room and they find you they're like oh did you find a good pair of jeans and then you show them the jeans and they're like wow those look great oh my gosh they really fit you well or you need another size or whatever and then they say did you see the sweater that goes with that like those sweaters like that were on the rack or whatever they look really great with that blah 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 and you know there's also like the jewelry's on special too so those long necklaces they really go well with it too and so they tell you about these all these other suggestions right you might want some B complex, some D or maybe a shake. You need some scour off to clean your sink. And then they say, so what are you going to take today? You know, they don't say, well, okay, well, let me know what you want. Maybe some of them do, but most of them say, so what are you, what are you going to take home with you today? You know, they've tried to upsell you, give you some suggestions and some other things. Cause you just came in for the jeans. Right. But they're going to tell you and show you that red sweater and the Maybe the scarf that goes with it too. And there's a really cool jacket over there's on special too that I think would look really good with that, right? They give you all these suggestions and they say, so what are you going to go home with? And I think that that's such a good example that we can continue to remember because so often we just say, okay, well, you let me know. And we're not assuming that, we don't, we don't take that position of assuming that they're, at, since they're having a conversation with us, that they're ready to buy. Does that make sense? So, um, you know, again, it can be as simple as a few different, few, a few words at the end of a conversation to say, well, what do you think you want to get started with today? And just close your mouth and wait for them to, you know, what, for them to reply. Um, but again, I know that I've been guilty many times just saying, well, let me know what you think. Or, okay, well, I'll call, I'll tell you later. Or like, I have a gal that like took the meology and it's killing me that I didn't like set a particular day to follow up because she took it. We talked last weekend, not this weekend, but the weekend before. And I said, well, you take it and then we'll talk, talk next week. Oh, that'd be great. Well, now I'm like playing Chase Jessica, trying to find her to try to close her for the month. But if I had said, can we talk on Wednesday night? And, you know, but yeah, pinning down the day is really, really a good idea. Pinning down a day, um, and also um, if they're if we're uh, directing them to the prove it challenge, which most of the time I am, um, I I say um, so. Do you want to show? We just get go ahead and customize your kit for you then. And I nod my head, right? So they we're buying it, right? So I would just say, do you want to? We went through the flavors and do you want to use, um, get a, um, two flavors of the soy protein shake then? Will that work for you? We can customize your kit right now. You just get them to the next thing. Put them in, just get them in there. Click that, open them. Do you, are you on a blood thinner? Um, if they're over 50, right? Do you need the vitalizer with the K or without? And then which, fla which shake flavors do you want? And I'm going in, you know, we're closing. We have to get on to the next person. So um, Moira's done a great job of closing over the years. But you, we remember, um, Moira, we used to say, we have to ask for the sale. We have to go in there knowing that 
we're selling them something. It's not a shop around and let me know. Don't say, let me know. Don't let them off the hook. Cause they're going to go home and ask their husband and all this and, and all that's going to happen. And they're not going to, or, you know, they'll, or they'll, you know, go to Costco the next day. And then they're like, Oh, protein, like Pam talked to me about protein. Oh, I picked up a thing of pro next time you talk to them, like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I got some some the store. yeah. Just like, you know, well, and we, so, people are looking for you to ask them. They're actually looking. I remember a few years ago, Joe and I were looking for a car and we went into the dealership, we drove the car, we brought it back, and the guy never asked us if we were interested. And because he didn't do that, we didn't buy the car there because it didn't seem like he was interested in helping us and moving us forward. So people are actually looking, and that was a big aha for me because um, it made me realize I expected him to say something to take us to the next step and he didn't do it. And so we didn't buy it there. Yeah. Well, I like what you said, like he didn't seem interested. And mm -hmm. I think, again, we need to, like, again, we're interested in sharing wellness with the world. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'd love to help you get healthy. I'd love to help you feel more comfortable with your, you know, or I'd love to help you feel, look 10 years younger. You know, are you ready to get started today? And then if they're okay. not, they're intelligent enough to give you, you know, their other response. But if we don't ask, we're not doing our job. Yeah. Right. Well, and I, I did, a, um, I met a couple of um, a hair gal and a makeup gal a couple of weekends at an event that I was at. And um, one of the gals, um, you know, had a lot, had a lot of, she had made comments about my skin and we talked about the skincare that I was using. And, um, and she said, well, yeah, everybody's looking for, and this is a makeup artist and she works, she's young and she has a couple of young kids and she freelances with her makeup. And, and she goes, yeah, everybody's looking for natural makeup. I go, well, you know, I use it and I or natural skincare. And I said, I also sell it. She goes, well, I'd love to know more about it. So I've connected with her. And then she finally got back to me because then she told me about some facial that she's doing. And I'm like, I said, so are you thinking about using the skincare that I was telling you about for these facials? I was just kind of confused. And um, she said, no, not necessarily. Well, no, I don't even show if, if she, know if she responded to that, but she did get back to me this weekend and she said, um, you know what? I have a bunch of this product and this product. Like, I really need to get through that before I take a look at like ordering some of this to try it. And I said, okay, but she said, I definitely want to keep in touch. So then I was like, okay, again, she's going to be a yellow light. So and we want to ask them, I said, so when do you think would be a good time for me to follow up? Like, how long is it going to take you to get through the product? I don't know if she has one bottle or 10 bottles. And I said, February, March. And she said, March would probably be a good day or a good time to get back in touch. So I just put her on that. And then I, as Pam and I talked about this weekend, then you put her out of your mind, right? You don't keep thinking about Come it. Like, when should I follow right. up? When should I follow She's up? She's on March. Move on right. to the next person. So. And then when I was talking to Tina yesterday and we were talking about some, a couple of these distributors that are going to be coming on. And she knows one of them is her sister. And one of them is um, somebody from Rodan and Fields, although she was on a sister team. She knows her mom real well and stuff like that. And we were talking about three-way calls and the importance of besides the you know senior leader, if you will, sharing their knowledge um, with a newer distributor, that sometimes it's good to get somebody to have a three-way call, like when you're really close to that person that you're prospecting. Like if it's your sister or your brother, your really good friend, and you kind of like are uncomfortable, like trying to close the deal with them, get the, th get it on a three-way call and let the, the person that's doing that three-way call with you kind of be the one that to ask the questions. If you are a little too close to that, you know, person, like, you know, if it's your sister and, you know, so Tina and I were talking about that and I thought that that was valuable to share. Um, and we, even when I talked with Kim yesterday, she said, you know, we have so much to learn with Shackley. You have th over 300 products, you know, Beachbody had, I don't know what, four or five or something. And she said, honestly, they didn't teach us much about the products. They just told us to go out and sell. So they really need the product knowledge. And so, um, again, that's another, the, another reason to get the upline on the call, because you may not know about something that could really help this person with what they're talking about, just because you're new and you just don't know about the other 
you know, you don't know about mood lift or core energy and how that helps adrenals. You don't know about the multipurpose cream or things like that. So I don't know what the last uh, thing on that was. I know closing, that was but I think we covered that in the close. We're, yeah. we're asking for the sale. We're asking them if they want to customize their kit now. Are they ready? And uh, I like what Moira said. The sooner that we get this um, all done, I'm happy to place it for you. I'll get it in right away. And then you can get your shakes in the kitchen. You can start drinking them or you can get on that cleanse, you know, plan on the week after next. You should have your stuff in plenty of time. Just get them up, get them going. So, yeah, I think that was it. I don't want to uh, go on too long, but. Um, well, I just want to do a shout out to me. I got my um, star clip done. My yay! first clip. So I'm working on the second one now. So, yes. Awesome. awesome. I am too. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I did I'm one in it. one and two thirds star clubs in like the first six days of January. And I'm sitting there looking for that star. It's been a couple weeks now. And I'm just like, hmm, <laughs> I'm not letting two stars slip into no, February no. on clothes. No. So I don't not know. I bribe the mailman maybe tomorrow if I see him. So we'll see. <laughs> oh, I have been known to sign up the UPS man on occasion. So <laughs> um, anybody, anybody. All right, so any questions? Anybody else? Strange Team question. Oh, to... and... Go ahead, Zoe. Go ahead. On the website, the section where it talks about trip points, do we know when that section is going to reset? Oh, no. Um, I, think I thought that would be part question. of the computer thing this weekend. but No, they closed the month and they um, we just got paid, right, last a little bit in the 15th. And then they always leave that tracker that way just to, because they, the exceptions that come in, there's an exceptions committee when some things didn't get done right or whatever. So they sit on that for about the first six weeks of the year. So don't look at that yet. Just don't look at it because it's a bummer. <laughs> so, um, so don't look at that. Just keep looking at your Star Club trackers and your quarterly incentive tracker. No, <laughs> you're getting trip points with all that. Don't look at those other things that frustrate you because then that's in your head. But they will. Yeah. Come and one thing that I was, I was reminded about today, and maybe you guys already know this, but you know, do you know that you get a free membership with a meology or kids meology? Doesn't have to be a hundred and fifty dollar order. Do you know that? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, so I guess I better tell my people. So Meology, uh, I, guess I, I, didn't realize. I just think you need Meology. a free membership, but you don't get free shipping. You don't get free shipping, but um, you do get a free membership with Meology or Meology Kids. Um, so it is a nice time to say, you know what, if you'd like to, you can get a free membership, but if you'd like to add a few more things, then you'd be able to get free shipping with that. Um, yes, that's very good. Or, Thank um, you for that. Yeah. Well, is that I on was the reminded of. Is that on the on the website? Does it say that? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but again, it was going through a. For, uh, it, it, let's hope it is, because that's my frustration. Is sometimes you know, like because I want to post that on my team page, but yeah, okay. No, it came from a. I mean, it's it was on this again central leader Facebook thread because um, somebody asked, and it um, it does so. Um, and, uh, if you haven't listened, if you didn't watch the mission Monday call today, I really encourage you to go back and listen to that, um, with, uh, she was what's good. her name? Maria. Maria she Isabel, was, Isabel Racine. She's awesome. She's a key coordinator. She's so much fun. She was in New York state, close to New York city outside. Uh, but she's but uh, so fun. I mean, she's been in Shackley for a very long time and it's, she talked about making a decision and making a commitment and also about posting a picture of her, bro her brothers before and after. And like, I was, I think I wanted to say that earlier because Zoe was saying about somebody she hasn't talked to in six years. Like people just, she posted that and people were like, whatever he did, that's exactly what I want. So just send it to me. And like, just like that, she had people in, in Canada, she had people in New York. And so it just took off. So um, it, um, and she, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's so, it's so, so good. Like so many parts of it, again, about that commitment and, um, you know, having those numbers that she wants to help 10 people. What I thought was neat the way that she said it, she said, I'm a, what, a coordinator, a senior coordinator, and that's what I know how to do. 
Like I want to be a master. Yes, but I don't, I don't know how to be a master yet. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to teach people how to be what I am. And if I can teach people to be senior coordinators, and she said, if I can teach 10 people to be senior coordinators, then I'll be a master. So it's just really, and I also love the fact that she said, you know, buy your stuff with Shackley. Like if you're a distributor or a member, like if you are with Shackley, don't go to the grocery store. Don't buy it at the grocery store. If Shackley has it, don't go to the pharmacy. If Shackley has it, you know, it's like that. Like if you own an Amico station, Pam used to always say this, if you own the Amico station, you're not going to go down the street to Shell and buy your gas. You're going to get it at your Amico station. So, um, you know, I, again, I was talking to Samara today, a newer distributor, and I said, yeah, we can, because she was going to help her friend get to 150 so she'd get a free shipping after she placed her myology order. I said, yes, you can do that. But also we have like 300 products. So ask her, does she need some more laundry detergent? Is she out of shampoo? Does she need some scour off scrub? Does she need some lotion for her dry hands in the winter? You know, we have so many things that check. I do like to get them to 150 because I do like to get that star. I hate them to spend $115 <laughs> on myology and get a free membership in whatever. I mean, I got nothing, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's Anything? all I got. Any oh. other questions, comments? So we'll hear from you about the Wednesday night thing. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go seek out my stressful people in my life. Find out who's can, who can talk on Wednesday for a few minutes. Yeah. Good. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. That's good. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.